We're here today with Andrew Love, a driving instructor, ADI, who uses an EV for work. So Andrew, what, what led you to opt for an EV for your driver training work? I chose an EV for the driver training work because of the reduction in the costs and the benefits to the environment I teach in. The training I deliver with my EV is with learner drivers, full license holders and driving instructor training. My EV is my only training car. In fact, it gives me a greater demand of work. It gives me a greater variety of work. Because it's a new type of training, people are, uh, seek you out. I see the demand for automatic licenses getting greater as we move to 2030, the year where they will stop producing manual cars. When I first started, learners didn't look for me specifically because I was an electric vehicle, but now I'm finding more and more people are coming to me because I've got that I teach an electric vehicle on my uh, uh, Facebook page. What, what sort of reaction do you get to the car from your learners and your trainees? I absolutely love it. Are you seeing much demand from fleets, from fleets wanting to train their drivers in EVs? Yes, yes, uh, we, we do get uh, a lot of fleets asking to, uh, us to work with them, uh, to transfer them over, uh, to their drivers to recognise the difference. So um, when you're using regen, it's not like using the brakes. You've got to just look a little bit further ahead, think about what's happening. And I think it's important that if I turn up in an EV to deliver EV training, it means I've, I'm walking the walk. What's, what's the official range of, of your Kona? And also, how does that compare to what you see in, in reality? The official range to the Kona is 288 miles. I have seen the range of up to 310 in the summer. And it does depend how you drive it. My annual mileage in the Kona is around about 30,000 miles a year and it costs me uh, less than a thousand pounds to fuel up. Uh, when I used to teach in a petrol or diesel car, I'd do around about 30,000 miles a year and it cost me around about four and a half grand a year to fuel up. What's it like to be in the car for as, as many hours of the week as, uh, as you were in it? It's a great car to be in. It's lots of fun and it's not as hard work. So when you're driving it, you don't have to work as hard, so you're uh, more relaxed when you get to the uh, event you're going to. Um, and when you're teaching in it, it's just a lot easier to teach. And where, where do you recharge? I recharge the car at home. I, uh, the tariff I've got means that I'm on five pence a kilowatt between the hours of 12.30 and 4.30 and then I do visit stations uh, when I'm doing longer journeys. EVs do cost more upfront so if it's not frying how, how did you square that financial circle of higher upfront costs but ongoing savings with ownership? So yes EVs do cost a lot more in, uh, in initially however if you look at it over from a business point of view you keep the car for five years, I'm saving around about three and a half grand in fuel alone each year. That takes that up to 17 and a half grand. You will have a, a residual v value for the vehicle, plus you won't have a, as many servicing costs. We don't have to have new exhaust pipes, brakes, catalytic converters, oil. It goes in and it, it's serviced and it costs about 70 pounds every time we go in. So it just makes sense. Uh, to convert. And were you also able to offset the cost of the EV against your income tax in the year that you that you bought the car? Yeah, so speaking to my accountant, uh, the whole of the cost of the vehicle uh, comes off, uh, off my bottom line. Do you see yourself going back to a petrol or diesel as a training car? I will never go back to a petrol or diesel as a training car. It's just a step backwards and I enjoy uh, training in the EV. Well, thank you very much.